Miss Rabbit has fainted. Let's count the things that are wrong with this video. Number one, being able to swallow three times in a row is arbitrary. There's no time frame given for how fast you have to swallow, and there's no control for what you are swallowing, so it's basically just made up. Number two, your vagus nerve is one component of a coordinated system of things that has to happen in order for you to swallow. It's initiated by the swallowing pattern generator in the medulla, and generally speaking, is not completely mediated by the vagus nerve. It's just a small portion of it. Number three, let's say that there is a hesitation in the way you swallow. It's a fun game to play. You're probably going to try it. But assuming that it's true, it could be related to the fact that the amount of substrate or spit that you have in your throat may not be enough to bring the reflex to threshold. For some people, it may even be too sensitive. You also may try to do it quickly, in which case you can't reset the refractory period fast enough and you won't be able to swallow. There are a lot of reasons why you may not be able to swallow in rapid succession. None of them necessarily mean that it's even unhealthy. Number four, the term long-term stress exposure doesn't really mean anything. Long term, what's a long term? Stress, what is stress? Exposure, what does that mean? So when you put those words together, it doesn't actually have a meaning, which means no one could have it, or at the same time, everyone could have it because it doesn't have a definition. So at the end of the day, this type of video is wildly misleading, and it may actually cause people to pursue a problem or to be scared of a problem that they don't actually have. If you do have dysphagia, which is what a problem swallowing is, or if you're worried about something being wrong with your vagus nerves, there are things that you can do that have been validated that are easy to test, easy to understand and can get you peace of mind quickly.